So what's been great about bringing the skateboards to the kids today is because it has allowed them to be teenagers again and to smile and tease each other and play and learn and also it's been very cool to see a bunch of girls teach a bunch of boys how to skate and at first they were like skeptical like a girl is going to teach me but then you could see like the respect and admiration they have for them because oh she does know what she's talking about and she can do cool tricks and they've been very happy we've made their day we are coming from Venice Beach, Los Angeles. Skateboards, we're actually not supposed to be filming right now. Bienvenidos a Mexico! So, Girls World is an organization that um, aims to empower young girls to get on skateboards. Um, so, we're going to bring our mission down to Tijuana today and get some of the little girls at the migrant camps on skateboards. And hopefully, we can bring some joy into their lives. Um, so, that's what we're excited to go do. Okay, I'll try in Tijuana, we're at our Airbnb unloading everything that we're going to bring to the camps. Today we're going to the YMCA, which is all orphaned and unaccompanied minors. And we're just going to bring them a bunch of skateboards. There's a lot of boys there and that's cool. Boys can skate too. <laughs> Go team girls. <laughs> what they've gone through so it's like this is like it's it's such a small thing but it's bringing them so much it's bringing letting them be kids again so they do that them now what you're here for play And currently we are seeing a major flux of teenagers coming from Central America as part of a caravan, migrant caravan that arrived in the month of November to Tijuana. All these kids that are coming with a caravan are asylum seekers. We were at the camps and we just got introduced to all the kids. Um, we were about to start but I'm a little bit nervous because teaching is very fun but also, yeah. Just hard sometimes when there's a lot of people, especially boys and older ages, and I can't speak the language. So fingers crossed. Okay. Put on the top of the board. Your foot's here. If your foot's back. So today has been amazing. The kids are having so much fun and to see all their smiles has just been really powerful. One of the women here said that she hasn't seen this many smiles and seen the kids have this much fun in a really long time. So it's just amazing to be able to do this. Um, so we just finished with the Girls World Girls at the first YMCA uh, migrant shelter with unaccompanied minors. It was really incredible. Um, they were telling us that these kids don't really have a lot to do, so bringing skateboarding and activities and it sort of let them be teenagers again. Yeah. 
Day two, we're in Tijuana, Mexico. We're headed to the migrant camps. We're gonna be teaching young girls how to skateboard and bringing fun and joy to their lives. Do you fucking hear that? that What's happening? So we we're driving down the highway, and then it started the, like Lindsay said she felt something like almost like pop and release, and so then we were like, yeah. I wonder if like the car tire popped. We may leave one of the cars because it's broken. Yeah, we can all climb into water. Julia was just all a part Julia of the fun. Was... Moving furniture around right now to set up because the ground is a little um, bumpy because they're redoing. This is a brand new place apparently, so um, yeah, we're just moving stuff around and getting prepped. With skating, it's pretty amazing that there is no language barrier. You kind of, it falls away, and then you're able just to have fun on the, on the board. So this is a more typical refugee settlement right now in Tijuana with the migrant caravan. Um, you'll see that it's all tents, usually donated by aid organizations. There's about one bathroom for 50 families. Um, entire families are in two, three people tents and there'll maybe be six people in the tent. And they have to fit everything that they own in there. It's not warm, there's a lot of disease in here because it's an enclosed space. So um, last time I was here, everybody had masks on. Um, it was raining, a lot of the times kids didn't have shoes, it was muddy, but this seems to be a better, a better spot for them. Shoulder to shoulder. Subaha, subaha, It's all, it's passion. Passion really like communicates most of what you're trying to say anyway, you know? They say something really quickly to me. I can see it in the eyes. That's how I know what they're saying. <laughs> That's how you get around. In countries where you don't really speak the language. Passion. <laughs> all of it. So we're at the border wall right now and you can see that San Diego right over there. Being here is a super cathartic experience because a lot of the local people will have relatives on the other side. We just had a little boy see his dad from the other side of the border. So it sort of brings about a lot of emotions. So this situation at the border with the migrant caravan is real and it's happening right now. We recognize it and it's definitely emotional. But Girls World's mission and why we came to Tijuana goes beyond politics and the wall. For us, it's simply about teaching kids how to skate. 
And that's why like on the final day, this mission came full circle for us. We ran into one of the little girls from the camp and she immediately recognized us. She was so excited. She grabbed my skateboard and showed us everything that she had been practicing. She'd gotten so good, we were all so stoked. It was awesome. And, you know, that's why we're here. It's what we're trying to do with all of this. We want to teach these kids a skill that no matter what happens or where life takes them, skating can't be taken away from them. They're little shredders now. I love my skateboard. <laughs> I've had a chance to visit a few kids from one of the shelters and I'm happy to see that they practice every day. The kids were eager to show me their progress and Melanie was very proud to show me she can now turn on the skateboard. Their parents told me that the kids practice from the moment they wake up and at night each kid cleans their skateboard. Some have even put stickers on them to mark them as their own. They sleep with the skateboard next to the pillow. <laughs> 